giant turtle eating my family's entire summer crop? Oh dear, Mr. Tortoise Nap said he was hungry. But he promised me he would only take a few small bites. I don't think that thing knows what small is. Jack and Pinky, you distract him. Rainbow Dash, Rarity, and Fluttershy, let's save Spike. Mr. Tortoisenap, I'm only asking nicely once. Let my friends go! Oh. Oh, 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 oh. And now a simple teleportation spell should... Pause, interloper! Stay back, friends. My sister and I will take care of the beast. All the times we've actually needed their help, and they show up for this? <laughs> That's just what I was about to do. Oh, goodness, sister. That was fun. No need to thank us. To be honest, we've recently realized we like being part of the action. Experiencing life instead of just dreaming about it and making a difference outside the throne room. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think they're gonna be doing this a lot? My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? Oh, my. We'd better ask some pony to fix that hole. It seems very dangerous. Which is why we're here! across the street. There wasn't even any traffic. It's not that we don't appreciate their help. But suddenly, Celestia and Luna seem to think we can't do anything on our own. How are we supposed to learn to be rulers of Equestria with them fixing every teensy problem for us? Maybe the princesses changed their minds. Maybe they don't think we're up to the responsibility of protecting Equestria after all. Or maybe this week's just a one-time thing that'll never happen again. Strategy meeting. What is the danger this time? A rampaging beast? Evil spell? Friendship problem? We're ready to do whatever we can. Great. But is something wrong? It's just, you've been helping us an awful lot. And we know you have way more important rulery things to do, so... We've spent more than enough time in the throne room. Real life is happening out here. Wait, that's what this is about? You're sick of being princesses? Not exactly. Battling the Everfree Forest alongside Star Swirl made us realize what we've missed out on. So instead of spending the day ruling and the night patrolling dreams, we wanted a chance to do the things you do. Save the day, adventure with friends, shampoo anteaters. I'm pretty sure Fluttershy is the only pony that does that. <laughs> 
Well, there are way more fun things to do than follow us around. Ooh, you should make a list of all the stuff you never tried but always wanted to. There's a lot of little things out there to do. What an intriguing idea. Only, it's much harder to justify a vacation from the castle when it's not an emergency we're responding to. Don't worry. We'll cover your palace duties. It'll be a good chance for us to practice for when you retire. Well, if you're sure you don't mind the extra effort. Shh! Thank you, Twilight! What a relief to know the royal swanifying ceremony is in good hooves. <laughs> the what now? Fun not yet had. <laughs> I can't wait to start planning our time off. A chance to do whatever we want. And you know what that means. Relaxation! <laughs> Well, it's just that I... I spend each night in every pony's intense dreams, so I could use some real-world downtime. <sighs> I understand. But for me, every day is real-world. Meetings and decrees, and meetings about decrees, and decrees about the meetings. I crave excitement! Uh, I'm not sure how we can both be happy. Unless... <gasps> we take turns doing what we like! Sister Trip! And I have the perfect accessories for us to wear. Wait right here. Oh, <laughs> we'll be twinsies. <laughs> Just like regular pony tourists. I knew you'd love it. I have a few things for us too. Sunglasses, bug spray, ice boots, bus sanitizer, and travel snacks. You have to add water. What do you think? It's perfect, sister. And here are instructions of how to prepare for the royal swanifying. If it's written down, I'm sure we can handle it. Have fun. One more thing. We're leaving you in charge of raising the sun and moon while we're gone. <gasps> we have put a small part of our power in this amulet. You can activate it with your magic at any time. Preferably dawn and dusk. Ooh, that's not a terrifying level of responsibility or anything. We won't let you down, princesses. Please tell me that scroll says what the royal swanifying is. Apparently, it's a celebration of all the swans in the royal lake. We round them up, parade them through the streets, and finish with a party in the castle. <gasps> One question. Why? It doesn't matter. This is our chance to show Celestia and Luna we'll do whatever the job requires. If they can take care of all this themselves, then I know we can, together. Ah, oh, um, jolly good. You are definitely not reading the scroll lion. Remember, sister, from now on we are regular carefree ponies. We're leaving the princess life behind, and we're not even going to fly! Of course. <laughs> How new and different. <laughs> it's just like Pinkie Pie said. There's a lot of little things you gotta do in this world. There's a lot of little things you gotta try. Just a pack of punchy plunges other ponies all take. That a princess pony passed us right by. No pony knows you like your little sister. No pony is a better confidant. No pony is truer than the one you are. No pony else here I could want. You can't saunter on a sojourn hid behind castle walls. You can't throw a throne down on the beach. So we're gonna be absconding, do a little vagabonding. And this bucket list is gonna be a peach. No pony knows you like your older sister. No pony is a better confidant. No pony is truer than the
to... Ooh. Well, we're filling in for their majesties. What can we help y'all with? I say, how irregular. Well then, we offer our assistance as heads of the Royal Swanifying Committee. <laughs> what a relief! Thank you, but we have it all covered. Really? Well, good luck with that. If we ask for help, it's just like admitting we're not as good at the job as Luna and Celestia are. Besides, how hard can throwing a swan party be? Yeah! All we have left to do is polish the armor, bubble the punch, glitter the carpet, puff the pastry, float the floats, and carpet every road in Camelot! Should I keep reading? <laughs> uh, Celestia, since we're both a little tired, maybe the first thing we do shouldn't be too wild? Exactly what I was thinking. Time we have tea, we can remember this magical day. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. But now, we're going to do something I've always wanted to do, but never could because of my night shift. Is it another zip line? No. It's the post office! It is indeed. Just think, all the mail in Ponyville goes through here. Isn't that amazing? One stamp, please. Wait for it. You didn't need a stamp if you were just going to give this to me. Yes, but I didn't give it to you. A male pony took it from me, searched to find who it was meant for, and gave it to you! It's about the process! Did you know that no pony has ever explored the bottom of these caverns? I wonder why. I have always wanted to try this! Isn't this wonderful, sister? There's a lot of little things you gotta do in this world. There's a lot of little things you ought to view. And our little lot of lists may be a little bit long and might take a lot of bother to do. But I'm sure it gets better later on and after darkest nights, a new dawn. Choosing after river rapid cruising, this adventure isn't too fun to be on. Princess Twilight, it has come to our attention that you don't intend to serve watercress at the royal swanifying ceremony. There's not enough in the castle kitchens to. Don't tell me, tell him. <laughs> And you must do something about the garbage piling up outside. The street sweepers are on strike, and the royal carpenters can't do their jobs. Did you even know there were royal street carpenters? Oh, dear. I do hope those aren't the final decorations for the gala. How rude. Thank you for your constructive criticism, but we really don't have time to chat, so... Well... 
I hope you're enjoying yourself on your super relaxing picnic, sister. I would be if you hadn't made us hike through a million prickly bushes. Uh, well, they hurt less than that horrible howling you dragged us to. That was Poniniachi, and it's an opera. And you made us leave early, even though it was still my turn. Oh, oh, just face it, Luna. You are never happy. Because you don't want me to be happy. I always have to do things your way. I bet you wish I'd never come back so you could still rule day and night. Oh, you think I like that kind of pressure? Being responsible for every little thing in Equestria and you? What I'd like is a sister I can depend on. You mean boss around? Calm down, Luna. No. And don't you dare use your canterlot voice on me! I think this adventure would be better if I did it by myself! Fine! I just remembered something I forgot I always wanted to do. Be alone! Guess we have the same thing on both of our lists, then. Part, exactly. The princesses never do all the ceremony planning by themselves. They don't? Oh, goodness, no. That's what the gala planning committees are for. No pony could handle all this. Of oh, those sequins? Still rude. Ooh, new plan, every pony. We're going to delegate. You, you're on blue duty. I need gemstones. A purple satin! Tell the ponies at the gates that there's a slight delay on the gala. Oh, um, if it's not too much trouble, I mean. Uh, now, who can we get to clean up all this garbage? I'm delegating! So this is how you rule Equestria. Are so much more relaxing without my bossy sister. <laughs> Who needs a gloomy sister moping around all the time anyway? Ah! Honestly, Princess, didn't you wear any sunblock? That's a thing. <sighs> Celestia would have warned me if she were here. Now, was it two left turns and a right, or two right turns and a left? Luna always handled directions. Climbing Mount Filimanjaro was on my list. I'm not copying you. I just wanted to watch the sunrise. Ah, uh, I'm uh, here for the moonset. So, uh, how did the rest of your day go? Oh, amazing. Yeah, uh, fan fantastic. Best ever, really. Yeah, me too. Mm. You, you can walk with me, you know, if, if you want, I mean. Well, since we're going the same way. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It must be amazing in the sunlight. The night's pretty special, too. Lucky star! You taught me to look for those when I was a filly. <laughs> Hope I wasn't too bossy doing it. <laughs> you know... Being with your sister all the time is hard, but being without her, it's even harder. I do know. 
And I wouldn't trade you for any of the adventures on my list. Not even your zip line? Not even my zip line. I'm sorry I said those things before. Sometimes it's just tough being the little sister. It's not always easy being the big sister either. I'm sorry too. The sun and the moon together? At the same time? Now where have I seen that before? <laughs> you think maybe Twilight's having trouble with the amulet? We should probably go help her. Okay, okay. I think I got it. Sunbur says we just need to reset the amulet with this. Turn the screw on the back. And no more than one half turn. Does anybody? 